All right, guys, it's after the 4th of July, and we've had a wet spell of weather the last part of June uh, into the first week of July here. It's finally starting to get dried out enough where I can plant my floodable impoundment at home. It's the low, the lowest spot, the deepest part of the impoundment still has a tiny bit of water in it. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the whole thing, but I'm going to do my darndest. I'm going to try to get in there as fast as possible because there's more rain in the forecast. Just wanted to do a quick shot of kind of what, what we're putting into the food pot this year. So first of all, here is, I've mentioned this previously, but this River Refuge Seed Company, that's where I got all the seed from this year. And I'd highly recommend checking out their website. They have a PDF copy of this uh, catalog that has all these interesting different mixes this is um, this is the only company i've found so far that really kind of has a specialty in uh, food plots for waterfowl here's what i ordered this year and what we're going to be putting in so for the main floodable impoundment we're going to be putting in this number two waterfall mix which as you can see is 60 percent millet this american sloth grass and some smart weed Last year I had millet and sorghum in the food plot and the millet exploded. I had a little bit of the sorghum came up, but not much. So it'll be interesting to see what this American sloth grass and the smart weed look like. I've never done that before. Um, around my little pond, I'm gonna put this number seven, which is mostly barley and well, it's half barley, half buckwheat. This stuff's a lot shorter as opposed to the millet. That wild millet, will easily be six feet tall uh, where there's good nutrients in the soil. This stuff's only supposed to get a foot or two. And obviously birds, they don't, they like the shorter grasses and, and so forth so they can see. So I'm gonna plant that around the edge of the pond and see if that, see how that does, if it attracts anything. On my berm, to try to firm things up, hold everything together, hopefully some added prevention uh, for washout, I'm gonna plant this berm or dike mix that they make. And last but not least, I got just three pounds of this shallow water mix. These are supposed to be plants that'll grow in upwards of a foot of water. And I might try that at home. I might throw it up north. I'm kind of undecided right now, but that's what we're gonna, we're gonna plant. The other thing I just wanted to mention, my other go-to catalog for floodable impoundments is AgriDrain. Uh, here's an example of a water control structure. That's an inline version. That's what I have up at the beaver pond up north. And of course they have everything for, uh, for water management. Here's the style. I got the inlet version at the house here. And these are the, this is the style I'm going to put in the big berm up north once I finally get a chance to get up there. So those are a couple resources. Uh, I guess the next step is to get the food plot planted.